everybody, it's Saskia Sketches and today I'm going to be studying light. So because I enjoyed studying fire so much, I thought, hey, I really like the result that I got. So I want to study more of these sorts of things. So I want to learn to draw my elementals um, more realistically, I guess. So um, I thought light was fun and I wanted to do Ioana, the light cheetah. Um, so the, the first thing that I did was um, trying to find different kind of light sources. Like, okay, so what kind of light sources um, come to mind? So I thought, okay, let's try and do light bulbs first because they seem easy enough, which was um, not true. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever tried to draw a light bulb but the oh the the shape is so freaking awkward it's really difficult <laughs> but um I did like the the way that they came out especially if you zoom out it looks a little better <laughs> um yeah so I, I was just trying to study um what colors were like present and stuff and I really liked this last one um because I like the the colors that were used here um, but what I found really interesting was that it was brightest in the middle and usually when I draw uh, my light elementals I used to just draw them uh, with the darkest colors in the middle which then doesn't apparently doesn't work so I thought that was really funny and I um, uh, will be changing that in the future because I learned that here so that's why I like to study these things because I feel like I can really learn a lot here um, and then I really liked this picture, I especially loved the shadows in it, so I wanted to just study this one as well, even though it wasn't going to make this one you wanna. Um, I, I liked um, the, the shadows and I wanted to learn more about light in that sense as well, so that's uh, that's how I did that. And I really, really enjoy how this one came out. I think it looks so cool and I like, I don't know, I really like it. And also, just because I'm so super new to painting digitally, this is like um, the second time that I've painted digitally. Because I, um, with Tom, was the first time that I actually sat down, sat down, and and said, "Okay, I'm gonna do a digital painting." I've never actually done that before, so um, I'm I'm really enjoying this medium, though. Like I, I really like um, the effects that you can get with it. Uh, and I think the, the the big cats are just really easy for me because I'm so used to drawing them, I'm so used to the shape of them, I'm so used to looking at them. Uh, I think it's much easier to, to uh, paint them than it would be for me to paint something like a car or something that's completely out of my comfort zone. That's why I really like, um, I know, that's why I really enjoy just painting these because I feel like I know <clears throat> what I'm doing sketch-wise and uh, color wise and stuff I kind of know how they work so um, yeah that's why I really enjoy painting these uh, and <laughs> um, but these are just studies basically I'm like I'm heavily relying on this reference image here and I'm uh, I'm color picking from it as well just to learn which colors are present where and how to I know how to uh, how it is what, what it's like in real life and how it looks so that I can learn from that and apply that in my own artworks because you wanna it's going to look a lot different uh, from from this because I mean she's a light cheetah so she's going to uh, emit light and stuff she's gonna look like she's glowing so she, she she's not going to have these kinds of shadows but I still think it's a really good idea to practice them and to learn how they work I suppose and I, oh, I, those dots, oh, that's why I don't draw as many cheetahs and as many, like, leopards and stuff, because there are so many dots. <laughs> but I, I love how this looks, though, like, especially if you zoom out, I really, really like this. And it's also just so much fun to do. So that kind of concludes the study part for this. Um, I probably should have done a little bit more, or a little, uh, or just a couple more, um, different light sources and stuff so but I really wanted to move on to the the actual uh, painting that I want to do if you wanna uh, just kind of apply what I've learned and stuff 
So I'm going to be doing this for every element basically and then I'm after I uh, am done with a certain element I'm going to put it up on YouTube and I'm going to ask you guys for critiques. So if you are more familiar with painting light for example please just uh, tell me what I've done wrong in the comments below. I'm also uh, asking for a lot of advice and uh, critiques on from Discord uh, and that has been really really helpful like um, uh, Huben Art for example he's really uh, helped me with this one because uh, he, he told me that uh, I have just way too much uh, white in it for example and uh, he kind of showed me how to do the glow a little bit better and so yeah, I really um, would really appreciate that those different kinds of feedback because I'm so new to digital painting and also so new to um, like trying to do this a little bit more realistically. That that's also not something that I'm very familiar with, uh, and I just I. Um, you, I, I just I want to learn how to do it better basically and I really like uh, the uh, progress that I'm already making on my own but I need you guys' help to do even better basically. So if you have any tips of uh, of how I, sh I could have done better with this one and also how I could have done better with the previous video on this where I drew Tan, which is the fire lion. So if you haven't not seen that video and you are more familiar with painting fire or you just haven't seen it in general, please go ahead and watch it and leave me your thoughts in the comments below because I really would have liked, uh, I really would like some uh, advice because after I finish um, this series where I've studied every single element basically I'm going to do uh, a follow-up video with everything that I've learned from you guys and everything that I've gotten uh, you know out of it critique wise and um, and in that follow-up video I'll be drawing uh, I guess all six elementals and just kind of like six elementals of one of each element basically and kind of showing what I learned and stuff so uh, I really look forward to that so please if you if you think anything looks off or weird or strange, please just let me know and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, look forward to you to your critiques and suggestions. Things that I'll be paying more attention to next time I paint Yuana anyway will be that I will use uh, less of the white, which uh, Jubanat point pointed out to me, uh, and I'll also be using less warm colours because now, because now she really looks like she's really hot, like you burn your hand if you were to. Uh, you know touch her and that's not really something that I want that's something that I would like for the uh, fire elementals and stuff but not for the the light elementals I want those to be a little bit more um, soft I guess so I, I suppose I should be using more of the color palette in the first two studies because I used the one from the um, uh, from the the third light bulb that I studied uh, so I think that might help a lot and I really like how I did the spots though because I made them translucent which I feel like is quite a neat touch because it I don't know it gives a little bit more personality and it feels a little bit more um, like something you would see on an element on like an, an animal like this and I really like uh, how I did that I also uh, opted to erase some of them uh, or lighten some of them on the brightest parts because if you look at her stomach right now that looks a little bit odd but if you look at how I did it on the, the leg uh, I think that looks uh, a lot better actually and I, I like that uh, aspect of it. Sketch over on Discord also pointed out to me that I didn't really pay attention to how she's interacting with the environment which I would normally be doing but uh, I don't know, I guess I couldn't really be bothered to finish up the final details um, because at the end of this my neck was really giving me trouble so uh, I just wanted to get it done basically. But um, I really do enjoy uh, how she came out overall because I feel like I accomplished uh, my goal of trying to make her look like she's glowing. Um, it could be better of course and there's still things that I, I have to learn uh, but I really, I think it's a really good start. Let me, it's a good first attempt, basically. And I, uh, I, I love her face. I really like how I did her face. Um, the, the details and the, the eyes and the, the nose. Once I, um, I'm going to uh, add a little bit more color to the nose as well. And I think that looks just really cool. I like her. I like how her eyes just really seem to, I know, have personality. Like look at you, basically. I, li I like that with uh, my my elementals like making them look just a little bit more expressive because animals generally 
aren't very expressive in the facial department. <laughs> it's just not how they, um, you know, how their faces are built because they don't really communicate uh, with their faces, much more with body language and stuff. But yeah, uh, I still, I still like that a lot. I like the whiskers too. So yeah, that's pretty much the end of this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching all the way to the end. And if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more art videos every single Friday. Have a great weekend, guys, and keep on sketching. Bye.